What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Guys, you know, I been talking a lot about Kevin Samuels and the success that the brother has had over the last year. I would say maybe going over the last 20 months, okay? And his inclination in the algorithm here on YouTube, just across social media, you know, now you hear the big people talking about him, DJ Envy, and I'll be roasting him up a little bit later. But you've seen a great inclination or incline or rise to fame, if you will. But on the other hand, we've seen a great decline of another YouTuber, another social media content creator who none of us would have ever thought this would happen. The decline of Derek Jackson. Now, a year ago, if you would have told me that Kevin Samuels would be bigger than Derek Jackson, I, I probably would have not predicted it. I would have thought that the way he was going, <clears throat> he'd be at a few hundred thousand subscribers, but I would have never thought that Kevin Samuels would have more subscribers than Derek Jackson. I didn't think anybody in the black ministry would ever do that. But we can see evidence of this on Derek Jackson's newest video, which is interesting. Five reasons she's mentally checked out of the relationship. Now, that's it. Stop the show. It's interesting that he would even talk about something like this. <laughs> Being that, well, he's he's number one, two, three, four, and the fifth reason why she's checking out of mental, you know, out of relationships mentally. That's because of a nigga like Derek Jackson. But what I want to talk about, if I can, if I can discuss this, look at the likes here. Okay, and I want Quazy, my editor, to pay attention to what you're seeing here on the screen. There's 1,001 likes, 1,500 dislikes. Okay? And then the comments speak um, for himself. Now, it's funny, if you look here, um, <laughs> there's so many bad comments are there, but... You know, uh, this sister put it this here. Day music. Thank God he's back in my darkest moments. His videos are what helped me keep going. Now, he made sure that he pinned that one to the top. But all the other comments um, that's roasting his ass, he don't even, you know, talk about or, or subscribe to. But the thing that I want to say is the jig is up. Okay. I think what you're, you're you're tired of seeing from many African American women are people like Derek Jackson. I will say even to a certain degree, people like Dr. Lamar Johnson, who are just telling them what they want to hear, and then at the end of telling them what they want to hear, there are no results. Okay, there are no results for men or women that Derek Jackson tangibly talks about. And I'm going to talk about a few reasons why. Number one, Derek Jackson's a relatively young man. He's under 30 or maybe 31, under 40. To be honest. All right. And for guys who are older than anybody like Derek Jackson, for, for guys to take him seriously, you he'd have to have top level information or top level game. He doesn't. That makes him a man that. No one can respect. Older men typically are going to have a hard time listening to younger guys on the male side. I'm 40. There are a lot of guys who are 50 or 60, but I make a lot of goddamn sense. This is the reason why y'all listen to me. But on the flip side, Derek Jackson is a young man who's still making rookie mistakes in his own personal life. So it's hard for him to advise that without the experience. And this is where we see age coming to fruition where you're talking about somebody like Kevin Samuels. Now you can talk about divorces and all of that. Here's the, here's the reality of it. 
Kevin Samuels is 50, 52 years old or 50, 51 years old. That's a lot of experience, good or bad. That's a lot of years living on the earth. Okay. Even me, I just turned 40. The way life has slowed down for me at age 40, brothers, is life is even more clear than it was when I was 35. All right. Like for even if you look at sports, you could even look at talk about Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose said he's a better basketball player now than when he was in his prime, although he can't do the same things he used to do with his body. Age brings about a certain level of confidence. What you're talking about? Age brings a certain level of understanding. It's the best teacher. And it brings a certain amount of wisdom. But when you're a guy like Derek Jackson, you just don't have those things. All right. And this is kind of why, you know, some of the younger guys who are in the dating coach game, stuff like that. You know, I'm not hating on them or anything like that. But one of the things I would say that it's at their disadvantage, any young person under 30 is the lack of experience that they have in life. People are tired, especially, and that's even young women who are dating coaches. The, the, the lack of the, the lack of experience is what kills Derek Jackson in comparison to a guy like Kevin Samuels. You know, it's hard for you to talk about what you just haven't been through. And then when you don't have any results behind it, anything tangible behind it, the only thing that you get is, you know, the guy like Derek Jackson, guys are just not like him. That's another thing. He's not realistic. More guys are more like Kevin Samuels than Derek Jackson, which is why nobody really as a man relates to Derek Jackson. A lot of guys agree and relate with Kevin Samuels. That's why he's so big. So there's a lack of relatability. But for the, 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 the main part is the women. Women are starting to understand that men are taking advantage of them financially by telling them what they're wanting to hear and they're concerned about their pockets. And then while they're telling them what they want to hear, they're not living up to their own standards. This is the reason why black women are getting tired of guys like Derek Jackson. To a certain degree, I would think Umar Johnson. Black women are, 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 are listening. They don't have to like them, but they're paying attention to guys more or less like Kevin Samuels. And they're looking at that because they're finding out that a lot of guys, whether they don't agree with it doesn't matter. The men that they want tend to agree more with the Kevin Samuels ideology. Okay, ninety percent of men, or eighty percent of men, the I, the I, the I wouldn't know about black men, would listen to Derek Jackson, listen to Kevin Samuels, and if you gave them an opportunity to listen to Derek Jackson for ten minutes, Kevin Samuels for ten minutes, who would they pick? Okay, <clears throat> who would they say has more points? Who are they say is more relatable? Who is talking more about their issues? See, the women are understanding now is that Derek Jackson doesn't speak to the men that they want. He's speaking to them and telling them what they should want to hear. But the guy that they're describing is not realistic. It's not practical. He doesn't exist. And, 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 and with all of that, women are really turning up on Derek Jackson. They're disliking his videos. They're roasting him in the comments. He doesn't even want to post on YouTube anymore. His decline has been so tremendous. It's like the Enron stock. Okay. I've never seen a YouTuber take this sort of fall. Shout out to Tasha K. There's nobody that's fallen like him. He has fell from grace tremendously. But you can only keep up a lie for so long until the truth comes out. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment pinned at the top. <clears throat> and as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm